Thank you, Eddie, so much. I really enjoyed uh, this movie. What was the impetus for the original one? Do you remember way back then? I remember being on the tour bus and I had just broke up with the, uh, a, a girlfriend and we got into a conversation. This was, I was really young, my early, early days of fame. And we got into a conversation about how cool it would be to meet a girl that loved me just for me. And I was feeling sorry for myself on the bus. And, oh, she loved me and didn't know I was famous and how cool. And that turned into, the, that was the beginnings of the coming to America. I love that. It was, called the, it was called the quest back then. To my mind, a king is a lot like a movie star. A lot of people want to please you and say yes to you. Um, and you have some people who love you in the movie who say no to you and uh, tell you what's what. How good are you at hearing people who are trying to push you from the path you intend? Oh, not good at all. Yeah, I'm, I'm really, I'm really strong, bull, strong, bullheaded Aries. And when I get my, when I get my bearings to figure out what direction I'm walking in, I kind of walk that, walk that direction undeterred. Yeah. You also have somebody who is like your personal assistant, and I imagine movie stars have that too. So, do you have any experiences of? just be horrible experiences with someone uh, being your personal uh, assistant? Uh, no, I've had, uh, if I do, I don't remember, but then my assistant has been with me for 25 years now. And okay. My, literally my world would stop, if she left my world would stop spinning and fall off his axis. <laughs> um, what was the best part of coming back to this character for you? What was the most difficult to get back into and the most joyful part? It wasn't difficult to get back in it at all. It was uh, because we knew we had a solid script. Uh, so I knew the, the, that we had the material the, to be able to do a good movie. The hardest thing is doing those makeups, sitting in that makeup chair for six hours it's just never gets, it never gets easy. It's, well, you it, know how we feel. No, you don't want to be in <laughs> six hours. You don't be in six hours. Do you find that um, it brings out different parts of your personality? And also, I know that you're doing another sequel coming up, something that people really have also been wanting you to do for a long time. Beverly Hills Cop 4. Um, when are you going to do that? Can you give us any insight into it? Yeah, I don't know if doing the characters brings out any aspects of my real personality. Uh, I'm really separate. I'm really different, uh, uh, totally separate from the person you see on screen. Uh, I I'm totally not that person, and I'm the kind of <laughs> a really different uh, person in real life. Uh, and never ever have I done anything on screen that was that was me. Uh, Beverly Hills Cop, we've been working on it for years and years. We feel right now we're the closest we ever had to, to getting it together. Like I said, 10 years we might have been working on it. Well, we got the original producer, Jerry Bruckheimer, and uh, uh, he brought in these great Belgian directors, and they're, they're really smart. And we got a good writer writing the script, and I feel really good about it. And, uh, it could be something that happens when the pandemic is and people start going to production, I could see something happen. Maybe in about a year, we could go and do that movie. Well, we can't wait. And we really enjoyed this. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.